Hey there, everybody. Welcome. We are in Alaska today. I chose Alaska, well, because of the kit, and I'm going to tell you the little story behind my idea with the kit, too. So anyway, today's a big day. I'm so excited about this. We've been preparing for this a long time, and I'm so happy to see so many of you here, so many familiar names. We've been looking through here to see who's joining us, and it's so great. Thank you guys so much. This is such... Uh, it's it's just it's a big release day. We've been wanting to do uh, collection kits for quite some time. Uh, the it, the timing was just never right, and um, and we finally had. I, I think it was just all the right combination of things. You know, it all came together. So we're really excited. So the launch, if you guys have seen it over on the website, um, it is called Alaskan Adventures, and uh, my thinking with that was, well, a couple of things actually. The time of year I think is perfect, it's winter. But I've always wanted to go to Alaska. And I love, I love Huskies and I love St. Bernard's. And, uh, and I would love to have a big dog someday, although Alan's not really for that. <laughs> but we had talked about, you know, as a family, family vacation kind of thing, our son is getting older and we thought, well, wouldn't it be fun? My husband's actually been to, to Alaska. You went when you were in the military, right? Yeah, he went for a whole month when he was in the military. Alan did. And um, anyway, we had talked about maybe doing a fly fishing trip or something like that. And I know fly fishing does not seem like it would be my thing. <laughs> but I promised as long as we had a guide who had a really big gun in case a bear came around, that I would give it, you know, the old college try. Um, but anyway, COVID hit and we couldn't plan it and all that stuff. So I thought when we were doing this kit, I thought, that, boy, that would be so much fun to do something with Alaska. And so we came up with Alaskan Adventures. So um, I am so excited about this. If you guys haven't seen it yet, over on our website, ldrscreative.com, if you go to the tab at the top that says, I think it says paper, ink, and more, scroll down and you will see an option for exclusive kits and you will see the kit there. Um, you will also, um, you're, you're going to see that there's also an add-on to that. And I'm going to take you through everything, and I'm going to explain everything to you. I've got some card samples to show you and stuff. Um, if you haven't seen the kit yet, this is what the kit looks like. It is completely filled with stamps, coordinating dies. Um, we've got a beautiful border die in there as well. We've got coordinating stencils. It's a three pack of layering stencils. That's so fun. Uh, the, um, the cardstock that's in there, I'm promising you is like top notch. It is the, it's a beautiful, beautiful, thick cardstock. I'm going to be showing that to you. And we've also got some gorgeous pattern papers in there. And the whole theme is all around these beautiful wintry Alaskan dogs. Um, and little adventures that they can go on with all the different activities that you can do in Alaska. So um, we are going to, I want to show you a couple of things real quick if you haven't been to the website. Here's a couple of card samples that some of our designers did. I think these are just gorgeous. If you look at this one, you can see that we've got these beautiful mountains in there. And of course, you can see that rescue plane. I, I think it's a rescue plane, but maybe it's a touristy plane. I'm not sure. I haven't been to Alaska yet, so I don't know it all yet. But let me see, there's a couple more here. Look how beautiful slimline card. And you can just see them uh, on their little snowboard and skiing. Um, this, I think, is just so sweet. Beautiful shaker card. And you're going to see that we have these really, really great embellishments in there. And then the last one here, you can see that beautiful, beautiful uh, die cut row of dog houses. That's so much fun. Somebody is asking, Sarah's asking, do you have to get the kit every month? No, you do not. This is not a subscription. We decided not to do a subscription. We decided to just put a kit out every other month. So it's gonna be available on a bi-monthly basis. And I've learned recently that bi-monthly can mean either twice a month or every other month. I looked it up because we were debating it. But it is going to be every other month. We explained that also on, on the page. Um, and it's not, it's not a subscription. So um, you can buy one kit. And if you love everything and you want to come back and take a look at what our next kit is going to be in a couple of months, then you can purchase that kit as well. We might have some add-on products. We might not. Depends on everything that you know gets planned and what goes into the kit. They're going to be different. Uh, there's going to be different price points. There's going to be different things in each kit, different themes. 
And, um, and then, uh, you know, we're going to sell them in a limited supply in the kit. It's an extremely deeply discounted kit. This particular kit, I can tell you, retails for, for over $90 with all the products that are in it. And we're offering it to everybody. Um, I'm trying to remember exactly the price. It was $55.95? I, uh, I can't remember. Where's it at? Let me look. <laughs> $55.95, yes. Um, and like I said, it retails at, at over $90. So you're getting a really, really fantastic kit. Um, you're going to notice in our kit that it is not just a kit of papers and die cuts and stickers and things like that. Um, I wanted to make sure, and we do this with everything that we do, that you know it's all top notch and very high quality. I wanted to make sure that this kit was going to be filled with stamps and dies, stencils, things that you are not only going to get one or two uses out of that you can use endlessly and it's really it's really an addition to your collection of all your craft products and you'll be able to mix and match them going forward and backward with other things that you already have so anyway let's get started i'm going to take you guys step by step through everything and we're going to do a couple of cards to get you guys started and these are going to be cards that you're going to be able to make on your own as well so i'm going to switch the camera and we're going to get going all righty let's see these are so cute i can't wait to show them Alrighty, so first off, the star of the kit is our Alaskan Adventures puppy dogs. I think these guys are so cute. There's 11 stamps in here all together. Six of them are these adorable little dogs. So we've got um, the Alaskan Husky in here. We've got one, two, three of those. And then we also have the St. Bernard. We have two St. Bernards and then we have um, the pair up here together and they are ice fishing. Judy is saying, any idea when the kits will be shipping? Yes, they're on pre-order right now and we're expecting to start shipping them the week after next. So it's not gonna be long. So we've got our Alaskan adventures. Oh, and then we have the sentiments in here. You're the best fish you were here. How cute is that one? This one says, I can't ski myself without you. How cute. You flip them over and we give you, oops, let me get rid of my green screen. I always forget that. There we go. We flip them over, we give you a suggestion as to how you can color these. And then of course we have the Alaskan Adventures. We have the dies that are gonna cut out all of the characters as well as uh, we're cutting out this little snowflake here and that little fishy right there. And on the back we show you which die goes with which of these stamps. So that makes it really easy for you. you don't have to sit and fuss and try and figure out what goes with what. Judy is saying, will the snow dogs work with other regular sized characters in the LDRS line? They absolutely will. These are not going to be, these are not pocket pails. They are regular size and you're going to be able to mix and match these with all the other regular sized uh, character stamps that we have in the LDR LDRS line. Judy, that's a fantastic question. Thank you for that. Now we have mountain heights because you know how much we love to create scenes. And I just think this is the cutest thing. Um, these can both be considered rescue dogs. And, oh, did you notice? I don't, I don't even know if I pointed this out. We've got them fishing. Look at those little snowshoes. Cutest thing. He's drinking his hot cocoa. He is skiing. He's just like super excited um, for just the holiday and the play and the fun. And then this little guy here, of course, is on his little snowboard. Got to mention that. So Mountain Heights, this is just a gorgeous, gorgeous background. It reminds me, actually, that's actually why I chose the background that I have for the green screen, because it reminded me of this. So we have the beautiful, beautiful um, evergreens. You've got that icy water in the front here and the snow-capped mountains in the back. And of course, that plane is landing right here. Uh, this is a separate stamp, the little sun in the clouds. And this, we have two sentiments here. You've got this and enjoy the journey. And of course, it would not be complete if we didn't have dies to cut those out really, really easily and a lot of fun. Next up, let me show you the stencil here. This is in the dog house. I absolutely love our border dies. We have like Main Street and then we have um, little pink houses. And so I thought, wouldn't it be super, super cute to have one of a row of dog houses. So that's what this is. It's a row of dog houses and we made, we made this, it's six and a quarter inches long. So you can use this on larger cards. You can cut it you know, into pieces and use it on smaller cards. So it's gonna fit just about any card size. 
this little bone right here that's a separate die so you can cut that little bone out and you can put that up above one of the doors or however it is you want to you want to do it um, here on the back we show you a really really sweet card with that and then we have the doghouse layering stencils and you can see I've already used it that's why you see some pink in there and on the back of this we show you stencil one stencil two stencil three and you're going to be able to stencil your own row of dog houses here isn't that cute? You can actually lay them over the die cut if you want after you cut this out and, and add color to your die cut or you can just stencil directly on the page. Andrea is asking, will we still have time to pre-order if we don't get paid until the first? Yes, you, uh, may, it may not be a pre-order then, but I think so. When is the first? What is the date right now? Uh, yeah, oh yeah, absolutely. I'm, I'm I get, I'm, I'm you know what, since March, I haven't known what day it is, so. <laughs> but yes, you will absolutely, you should absolutely have time um, by then, I, I would think so. Um, so we, we do have a good supply, but I, 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 I wouldn't wait too long because we don't have a huge supply. Um, here is, uh, these are the papers. I showed you these the other day. So these are the these are the papers. These are actually these are actually double sided with the same. Our, our printer actually made a boo boo. <laughs> they were supposed to be single sided, but we got a small quantity in that was double sided. So in some of the initial kits that ship out, your papers will be double sided. Um, but when when the rest of the stock comes in, they're only going to be single sided. So note that, and it is the same. It, it is the exact same pattern that's on the back side, but. Regardless, they are absolutely stunning. They are 80 pound cardstock, so they are nice and thick. They are just, hear that? Absolutely gorgeous. Somebody's asking, are the doors on the doghouse interactive? They are not. We didn't do that on these doors because, um, well, be, because when you look at a doghouse, this is the honest to God truth, when you look at a doghouse, they don't really have a door that opens and closes. <laughs> So we didn't we didn't make these open and close because we want the dog just to be able to go into his house if he wants to, but they are still so super super cute. But no, they do not open and close on these. I want I mean I wanted it to be a little realistic, even though you know we have dogs on snowboards. <laughs> so these are the beautiful papers. They're absolutely stunning. And then actually, let me leave these fanned out for those of you that missed the other day if you weren't here. You're going to get four eight and a half by eleven sheets of really good heavy cardstock. Listen, I don't know if you can hear that, but do you see that glisten? Isn't that stunning? Two of these are going to glisten. This one is a beautiful charcoal. This is a fabulous, fabulous pink that looks stunning with the pink in the papers. This one does not. This one is not shimmery, and it's not textured either. Uh, well, actually, it does have a little bit of a texture, but I just love the color, and that's why I chose it. This beautiful blue, it's like a midnight blue almost. Um, this is shimmery, and then we have this gorgeous purple. It's kind of a dusty, kind of a gray purple. Uh, so you're going to get four sheets of this cardstock, and these are 8.5 by 11. All of these papers... And where's my little embellishment pack? And then you're also going to get this big pack of these beautiful embellishments for all kinds of things, your little shaker cards. So we've got in here, we've got these beautiful, where is it? These, like these little water droplets. I love these clear little droplets. There are little, um, what are they called? Like sequins, but they're, it's like snow falling and little beads and stuff in here. They're just so pretty, little blue sequins, just gorgeous. So you get a nice big pack of those in there as well. So that's everything that's in the kit. So it's a lot. Two stamp sets with coordinating dies. You get a whole border die. You're getting stencils. You're getting your embellishments. You're getting your six by six papers and you're getting full sheets of a good heavy, heavy pound cardstock. I think on average these are roughly about I think a hundred pound each of these cardstock. Um, pieces here so they're really nice and then we have a bonus as well so this beautiful falling snow die is it this is an add-on if you want to purchase this separately it's your option obviously to do so 
it coordinates just beautifully. This can be used throughout the, uh, throughout the entire, you know, fall, winter, uh, Christmas season. And this actually has both a positive and negative aspect to this die. Let me show you this die cut because it's really cool. <clears throat> Let me put it, <coughs> excuse me. Let me put it on here so you can see it better. It looks like falling snow. I think it's just stunning. But we have the positive of it here where you see the full snowflake. And then up here in the border, we have the negative of it up in the border. So you get a beautiful, beautiful kind of off the page, positive, negative effect with this die. I think it's just gorgeous, all the detail that's in that. So that is an option if you want to get that as an add-on. So we have some more questions. Will you be selling extra paper from the kit? Well, here's the thing. We have, um, if we have any inventory left over once the kits sell out um, and once we introduce um, the next kit, then it's possible that we may end up selling some of the items individually. Um, but I guarantee you the discount on them will not be like what you're seeing in this kit. Um, you know, that we, we're doing these kits so that we can offer some amazing collections. Um, they're not going to be sold any place other than LDRS, uh, uh, you know, no place other than our website. You're not going to get them anywhere else. Um, and that allows us to offer really, really special pricing on the kits. Um, we're doing them every other month. Um, and, um, I don't know. I, I just, I hope it's going to be a really good thing for, you. I hope you guys are going to enjoy them. We're putting a lot of work and a lot of time into them because I want them to be absolutely fabulous for you. Uh, Peggy is saying, will the stamps and dies be available by themselves at some point? All right. Sorry. I think I just answered that. Um, I didn't read that before. I should have read it quietly to myself. So, okay, let's see. I'm going to put this card together. I'm going to show you what I did to get started though, really quick and easy. Um, I went ahead and I stamped all of my characters. So I stamped them, I got them colored up, and I didn't know where I was going to use what. I actually have, let me show you what I do. This is kind of what I do. Um, I have this guy here who I started coloring up. And I have this guy here. These are the two that I didn't end up using. So this is what I do. I stamp out all my characters, and I get them colored up to a certain point. So I'm going to keep these two because I didn't end up using them on a card. But like this guy here, I didn't color his gloves or his mittens and his scarf. And these guys, I didn't color their, you know, mitten scarf. I didn't color the fish yet. And I didn't color that log yet because I don't know how I'm going to use them. So I get them colored up to a certain point, And then I'm going to put these. I have like a little clear box where I put um, little pieces and parts, things that I haven't used. And then I will grab through those um, when I'm in a pinch. And I'm looking for some, you know, some craft some uh, characters or embellishments and things to work with and I'll finish coloring those at that time so that they coordinate with the project that I'm working on at that time so that's my little trick it gets me gets me started a little bit okay so I got these guys all cut up and I went ahead and die cut them um let's see Judy is saying any idea what will be on HSN next week yep I know exactly what will be on HSN <laughs> next week <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. I know. <laughs> um, if you stay tuned on Thursday, I will take you through it. So come back on Thursday and I'm going to walk you through everything that's going to be on HSN on Thursday. All right. That's a great question though. Sorry. I just felt like being silly. Okay. So here we go. What do I have here? So I went ahead and I have colored up this little guy here. He's one of my little huskies. And I stamped and die cut my um, my uh, my scene. What is it called? I can't remember what it's called right now. My mountain height scene. I will tell you something here too. If you notice that the die kind of ends right here, you can actually carry that off the page a bit if you want, or if you want, you can just trim it, which is what I ended up doing. So you kind of have options with that because of where we ended that with, with that die. So you can have that kind of go off a little bit. It's kind of fun. Anyway, so I just went ahead and trimmed the rest of it. But 
here we go. This is where I'm at. And so I've got that and I've, I went ahead and I stamped my little sentiment that says, you've got this. And I just hand cut a little point out of that. And then, you know, I, I, I always do this. I always grab things from, from my craft stash. So I grabbed, I, how many times do you guys see me grab this thing in the, <laughs> in the months that we've been doing these, these lives? This is a staple for me. I use this year round. I use it for everything over the hills. It's not part of this kit. Um, if you want to just take scissors and cut a little hill on paper, go for it. But I love to use my dies and, um, this is a really fun one. Um, so I went ahead and I die cut this hill in white and then I took, I took this stuff, my Nouveau glitter accents, and I just covered the whole thing here with it. It ends up looking kind of like bumpy, like, you know, like snow would have a little bit of movement and the glitter on it is just amazing. I just love it. And I just kind of let that dry for a couple of hours and we were good to go. So, oh, and then I have out of that beautiful pink, I uh, cut it in half at five and a half inches and then I scored it at four and a quarter and I have a beautiful little card base. I chose to work with this beautiful, beautiful um, snowy starry sky. This is one of the papers in the kit. Absolutely love this and I trimmed this to be um, just a little bit shy of A2. So basically what I did is it, I, it, A2 is gonna be four and a quarter by five and a half. So I trimmed this down to four inches by five and a quarter. And so it gives me a beautiful little border. And I love seeing that pink on the outer border. And then I trimmed this down to be the same width. So that is four inches. And notice I colored the plane to match the paper because <laughs> it all has to coordinate, right? And then you can see I used some of those little glistening accents up there at the top of the snow as well. Did you go emboss it, Rip? What did I what? Emboss that, Rip? I didn't snow emboss drift. this, huh? The snow oh, it's not embossed. I used this. It's the Nouveau Glitter Accents. That's what I used for the snow. And no, I don't have that in the store. So I'm going to go ahead and start putting this together because this, I think, is a really easy card. The coloring on this was really simple. I just chose a couple of blues and pinks. It's done with uh, alcohol markers, um, but it was really, really easy to do. So I actually, do I want to pop this up? Yep, I do. I'm going to pop that up a little bit. I wasn't going to initially, but I'm going to now. So. And I grab my trusty foam, my scissors, and get this on some foam because I think it's going to be really pretty with a little bit of dimension on the card. Wow, could I have cut that any more perfect in size? Wow. Wow. That never happens. <laughs> I, I actually trimmed it. I did it again. I'm freaking myself out right now. I don't normally measure things that well. And then this one's got to be a little bit smaller. I'm going to put a tiny little piece right there. Do I have any tiny pieces? Here we go. This is, I like to store my little pieces on, on the edge here. Put that there because I want to make sure that it has a foundation underneath it because if I give it to somebody and I don't have the support underneath it, I don't want it to, you know, it, it could bend. So I should probably do it up here too. I'm going to do that really quickly. Put a tiny little bit on each of these just because I don't want those longer areas to bend. Now, if anybody has any questions, any more questions, please put them out there. Shannon is saying, what time will you be on HSN? I do not have the HSN schedule as of yet. I'm sorry. I'm going to put a skinny, skinny piece here. You're going to look for Holly, Holly Fawson. She's going to be on HSN. There we go. Hopefully I will have that information for you on Thursday, but if I don't, we'll get it posted as soon as we can. All righty, that should give enough support to those things now. Go ahead and put this down in here. 
I really love these papers. I love that I can use the paper as the background. So this is my sky. Isn't that gorgeous? That is my beautiful, beautiful starry night sky. I think it's so gorgeous. And then we're going to go ahead and put these on here. This one I'm going to pop up on foam. You guys know how I like my foam. I love having dimension on my cards. Hmm. I don't think that's going to allow me to go far enough in there. See, I've got to fix that. I'm going to pull that piece back up. I'm going to trim this just a little bit because I want to be able to sink this other piece into there a bit. Trim this here a little. So that's going to allow me to position this down lower if I need to, like this. And of course I need to give a little bit of a foundation underneath the edges there. So now that I've done it that way, when I lay this down here, I have the option to leave this up higher or push it down a little bit further like that if I want, which is really what I want to do. But if I wouldn't have given it that space behind here, I wouldn't have been able to lower that down. So it's always a good idea to kind of think about how you're going to put the pieces together. Okay, let's lay this on here. Make sure those edges line up nicely before I press it down. And then this one is going to get, uh, it's gonna go flat. I'm not gonna put this one up on foam. There we go. And I'm going to slide this in. I want to be careful. Let me do it this way so you can see. I want to be careful that I, ah, I can't. I'm right handed. Sorry. I want to slide that in there such a way so that more of the water shows. See, so now I can still see more of the ripples in the water. And now I can put him down here. I think he's going to work really nicely there. I'm going to put him flat on this because I've already got two layers of foam here. And if I want to put this in an envelope, I can't make it too high. But I need to put foam under his head. And I only need to put one layer of foam under his head because the first layer of foam is under the background and the second layer of foam is under the snow. So I only need one layer under his head to make him even with the snow. So we're going to go here. And then I'm going to use, I'm actually going to use a liquid adhesive on the bottom of him. Because I think it's going to hold better than, I think it's going to hold better on here once it dries. Much better than if I just used a double-sided tape. Oh, you know what? I think I do need one more. You know why I need another layer under his head? Because this is bumpy. The snow itself gives me a layer. So I do need to have one more layer under his head. Well, this is what we find out sometimes. Let's go like that and put that down. Put him right back on here. There we go. Now that lays much better. And that's going to take a little bit to dry. But now we have some balance in the composition. So even though I only have one character over here, I have that plane over here. And so that gives me some balance with my composition. I have um, a, full, a full scene, well-rounded. I've got pink over here and pink over here to balance each other. I'm going to have to put some weight on that so that holds. Are you going to tell us the sort of theme or style of the HSN goodies, animals, people, etc.? Not tonight. 
tonight. <laughs> nope, tonight is all about this kit. Stay tuned for HSN stuff on Thursday. I promise you, I will give you all kinds of information on the HSN stuff on Thursday. There we go. All righty. And so this, I think, would be really cute over here. And I'm going to lower it down a little bit. Let me make sure that is straight before I press it down. I think it is. There we go. And I'm not going to turn this over because it's awfully bumpy, but I'm going to get some, oops, I get some adhesive on my card base here. There we go. Isn't that so cute? I love it. I think it's adorable. That's why I could not wait to play with this. I could not wait to show this to you, this whole kit. I think it is just the cutest thing. Even if you're not a big fan of Alaska, I mean, who doesn't love dogs, for goodness sake? Oi, 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 how cute. There we go. That is card number one. Super easy to do. Um, I mean, we've really given you everything you need to do this except for the little glittery things. It's just so easy and so fun. Yay! I love it when something comes together. <laughs> All right, so that is card number one. Uh, Kelly is saying, will there be a stamp for the doghouse? We do not have any more, um, we do not have any more um, things planned to go specifically with, um, with the items in this kit. Um, we're not, we're not going to be, we're not like adding things to it. Let me put it that way. So no, we do not have a stamp planned. All right, let's get all these pieces out. So I thought it would be fun. Oh, and let me show you this too, before I forget. This, like if you added this to the top here, I would probably trim this down a little bit. But if you added this up here, you could actually have more snow up there. Isn't it so pretty? I mean, of course, this would be in a different place, but it just looks so gorgeous with that little addition of that snowflake border. Just so pretty. Okay. So let's see. Next up, I thought we would do, let me get this one out of the way. I need the space. I thought we would do a slim line. Now, um, you know, and you can do this with any slim lines that you have. If you have ours, excellent. If you have somebody else's, you know the company's excellent, whichever ones you want to use. Um, so I went ahead with one of our slim lines and I cut just the, um, uh, the card topper. And then I used that beautiful, beautiful shimmery gray. And I trimmed that to be um, just a quarter inch larger so that I ended up with an eighth of an inch around all of the edges. And so that ended up being, so let me, let me go through this. This and this right here ends up being uh, three and a quarter by eight and a quarter. This piece then ended up being three and a half by eight and a half. And then the card base when folded is also three and a half by eight and a half. So opened up, it is seven inches by eight and a half. In case you wanted all those measurements. Okay, so let's see what we have here. So I wanted to use these background, these papers again for the background, because I think they're stunning. And so I chose to work with this one is this beautiful, beautiful um, forest in um, snowy forest paper. And I trimmed it to fit, and then I just used, I pulled out my stickles. And I just used stickles and just kind of got some glitter up on some of the, um, the little snowflakes there. So you can see them sparkling. And let's see what else we have in here. This is part of the doghouse die. Here's my little characters that I have. All colored up here, ready to go. So these are the other three. And then I used my over the hills and I cut a whole bunch of little snowy hills. 
whole bunch of them. And you can see I numbered them on the back. So this one's number five. This actually will come apart. I just kind of am very, very gentle with it, but it actually comes apart. See? <laughs> so this is three and four. And we've got number seven, whatever. It's like one through seven. And you'll understand why. I numbered them because of how I'm going to be building them, where they're going to go. And it, it goes, it numbers um, bottom up, basically. And then here, that's all these little pieces here. I don't know if you can see all these. Let me put them on here so you can see them. I cut out my, um, my doghouse die on gray. And these are all the little doors, little things that came out of the doors because I'm going to use them. And I also have the little doggy bone. So I saved these. I, I set these aside because I'm going to use those. And you'll, you'll see how that turns out in just a moment. So we're going to get this. We're going to get assembling this one. And it's going to be really cute. Um, Judy is saying, any info on the upcoming small add-on Christmas release that was mentioned? I don't have info on that yet. But we do have that coming. And I think you're going to love it. <laughs> But I don't have that info. That's going to remain a little bit of a surprise for now. But thank you for asking. It's good to know that people actually read the things that we put out. <laughs> you never know. <laughs> By the way, if you haven't asked a question or said hello or something, I encourage you to do so because we're going to have a giveaway at the end of this. We always have a giveaway, right? So I went ahead and just adhered that down. This piece here, let me see how this goes. I'm trying to remember how I was planning this. Um, um, um. Oh, for goodness sakes, what was I planning on doing? <laughs> <laughs> I am uh, frighteningly serious. How does how does my puzzle go together? <laughs> I think it goes like this. I think it goes like this. So this is seven, five. <laughs> one. All right, one and two go like this. This is, I know how this goes. One, I do know, I just don't know. <laughs> One and two go like that. This is three and four. They go like this. And then this one goes like this. And then this is six. This one goes like this. Okay. <laughs> And then I think this actually does go like this. Oh, I remember now. This one goes up here. Okay. And this is number seven. All right. Bum, bum, bum. Okay, so I take this piece, because I have them all numbered. So this we're building on this one. So I'm taking number one, and it's going to go like this. And I'm thinking about... How I, I think I'm going to lay all these flat. I know this is taking me some time, but I, I didn't work out the foam on them. How the foam is going to go together. And I don't think I'm going to put foam. Okay. So, where's my little trusty? I'm going to start taping. So this is one, this is my base. This is what I'm building on. So this is one and it goes like this. This is why I put those numbers. Lucky I put those numbers. I wouldn't know what I was doing if I didn't. This is number two. This one slides in here. Right here. That's two. 
Now I've got number three. This one is going to slide in here. Put that a little bit lower. And then here's number four. It's working out. People laughing at me? Stephanie did a... Did she do a big eye roll? Pound sign messing up your own design. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I am messing up my own design, Stephanie. <laughs> hey, this is crafting, man. This is crafting at its best, right? Oh, yeah. <laughs> can see, you know, I'm telling you, I'm, what am I, 52? I can't remember how old I am. See, I can't remember how old I am, and I'm supposed to remember what I crafted yesterday. <laughs> I don't think so. That's not easy for a girl like me. All right, so we have foam out there, or on there. So we do have to have some dimension on here, right? And then this is going to go here. It's all going to work out in the end. I just know it. And I'm going to put this one here. There we go. That's the top. So this is number six. Line up the edges. As long as I line up the edges, I think I'm good. There we go. Uh, Miss Whitlock is saying, when will you get your watercolor paper back in stock? Your watercolor, watercolor paper? A watercolor paper? I don't know. Maybe it's just. Uh, do we have watercolor paper? Um, we don't have watercolor paper. Do you have Bristol? Yeah, we have the Bristol, but you might be seeing into the future. <laughs> <laughs> How did you know we were coming out with water paper? Can I just say that? Did I say water paper or watercolor paper? What did I say? Watercolor paper. Yeah, water paper. That would be a tree, wouldn't it? Did I do that upside down? All right, so there we go. Now I have that one. <sighs> this is working out. I'm telling you, it's happening. And so I'm going to put this right here. And I'm going to pop that up on foam. Skinny, skinny foam. There we go. So I have to cut little pieces here for this. All righty, let's get one here. Little one here. I don't know if I cut these skinny enough. Let's see. There, put this one up top to give that some um, stability. And I need a really skinny one for that, and I don't think that was skinny enough. Let me see. Really skinny. There we go. That's going to work. Excellente. So seriously, all I've done so far is cut a piece of paper for the backer, and I just did a bunch of die cuts here. You can do that with any hill die you have, or just with your scissors if you want. So I'm going to put this right here, this little doghouse. Just like that. And that's where these little pieces come in because I thought that it would be super cute if I tucked them in just like that. I think it looks really cute. Oops, I almost dropped one on the floor. That would have been really bad. Alan would have been hunting all over the floor for, <laughs> for my last die cut. So these are just the little pieces that I cut out. 
So these were basically the doors. Look how cute that is. All right, now it's the teeny tiny ones that are gonna cause me a little bit of trouble. Yeah, how does this work? I don't know how these work. Okay, forget that. Um, here's the one. This one I know how it works, maybe. Okay. A little bit of tape on that. I should be using tweezers. There we go. It worked. Little, oh, getting tape all over me. This is what happens though, right? If you're not getting gooey and marker all over you and stuff, then you're not crafting the right way. There we go. Might need to, there we go, perfect. And I have a couple more. Here's this little one. I know this part seems tedious, but you know what? I think it's gonna be well worth it. There we go. And then this one. Very good, very cute. And then let's see. I'm gonna have these guys, where am I gonna have these guys? There we go, that's gonna work. Um, 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 let's see. Let's get these guys up on some foam. Look at how cute he is. I, I use my stickles also on um, like that snow just to make that shine a little bit because I think it's so cute. That's not going to work there. Let me put this under his head. That'll work there. Tell me, if you guys don't have this foam tape, whether you get it from us or you get it somewhere else, um, this is the scotch. This is the best stuff. Let's see this little piece here. Hands down, the best foam tape. If um, if you haven't used it yet, I mean, granted, it is a really big roll, but it lasts a, a really long time, and um, it's not going to get your your uh, your scissors all gooey or anything. It's just the best stuff. I love it. Okay, let's go ahead and get these guys laid out. So look how cute he is. He's just sitting and having his hot cocoa. So he's just sitting in front of in front of his house. Let's lay these out so I know exactly where they're gonna go. He's gonna go that way. I just love these. They look like they're in action. They're just the cutest things. We have him come. I can have him go off that page a little bit too, because if you remember, this is a little bit bigger. Look at them. They're so cute. I want a dog. Everybody tell Alan that we want a dog, that we need a dog. <laughs> oh, and then I have that little bone here too. Remember that? Oops, wrong way. Get some tape on that bone because that little bone is going to be the decoration above this door here. Let's see if I get that in the right spot. Need some tweezers. There we go. Very cute. Look how cute that is. Seriously. 
Did I or didn't I? Did I do a sentiment? I don't think I did one. I'm not seeing one. Okay. Uh, next up is to start to put this little guy together. on here. So I want about an eighth of an inch on all sides. There we go. And then that is going to fit right on my card perfectly, on my card base. I'm going to turn this because I like to line this up at the edge. There we go. So cute. <laughs> That's got some weight to it. <laughs> Awesome card. Oh, and look, look how pretty that is. If I want to put that snow on the top there, you know what? I think I'm going to do that because right now it looks very white at the bottom and much darker up at the top. I think I'm going to put a little bit of this snow up at the top. Doesn't that look great? Yeah, I trim the white down there. Well, yeah, I, I've got to trim some of this down definitely, but let's do that. And then we can just put a sentiment on the inside then. So I'm going to go ahead. I said this measurement is, what is that? Three and a quarter. So three and a quarter. Oh boy. This is where I got to be a little careful. There we go. Excellent. No, nope, wasn't bad. Not at all. And I'm going to get rid of some of the weight on that, on that edge there. It's not quite so deep, so long. Let me trim that little piece off of there. There we go. Oh, I think that's really pretty. I like that. All righty. So that was a last minute addition. See, I can do this without causing any trouble. I probably should have used a liquid, but I was impatient. Huh? Yeah, I should have used a liquid, but that's all right. Yeah, no, it'll, it's all right. I was, I just moved it around, so it's still okay. All right, let's go like this. Line up my edge. And then the sentiment I will put on the inside. But you don't always have to have a sentiment on the outside yeah. of the card. Definitely just dimension function. Yeah. And I think that can go on the inside of the card when the time comes. When I'm ready to send it out, I can put something in there. Or what sentiments do we have here? Let's see. There's a request for snow on the roof. Ooh, snow on the roof. That could be really pretty. Snow on the roof. That could be a... I'm not sure. Maybe a... Um, that could be a <laughs> no, I think snow on the roof yes. would be really, really cute. We could, I could probably get away with doing this. I don't want to do it right now because then I would end up with a mess. It'd be... Because it, it takes a while to dry. Like, I like to do that and then let it sit. Um, but I think... I think I could get away with doing that with with this. I'll try that, but I don't want to do it now because I know I'll smear it and get it on something. But let me see. Let me see. I think that is everything that I was going to do for these cards. Aren't they cute though? I think they're cute. I really, I'm glad I, I'm glad I put this up here because I think that looks just beautiful. I don't think you have to do it, but I think it's a beautiful add-on, which is, well, why it's an add-on. <laughs> 
So there you have it. Two adorable cards made from the same kit. And this is only, I mean, this is only a couple of ideas. There's so many ideas. And when you go to our website, you're going to see, you know, our design team has some gorgeous cards that we've put out there. And we're going to be adding to those as well. Uh, but so, so much fun. I just love these. So we're going to switch the camera back. Yay! <laughs> I hope you guys like these. I think they're just so sweet. Look at those babies. Ooh, I can see I didn't get that one lined up right. It's hard to line things up when I can't get my head like right over the top of them, but it's okay. I can fix that actually. Look how pretty that is. I think it's so cute. And then we have this one as well. They're just so much fun. I love them. <laughs> I love them. I hope you guys enjoyed them. Anyway, so goodness gracious, gosh, I hope you guys really like the, this, this kit. It's, it's been, it's long overdue. We're so excited about it. Um, and I hope you guys are going to really enjoy it. And for those of you that do get it, I really would love to see what you guys make with them. Uh, you can, you know, if you haven't joined our Facebook group yet, please do so. Uh, more and more people have been sharing their projects and it's been an absolute joy to see what everybody is doing. So that's a lot of fun. Do we have time for a giveaway? I don't think so. No? No time for a giveaway? I think people want the cards. <laughs> <laughs> well, I think I stepped through them enough that you guys can make these too, right? You can even add your own little twist on them. Alrighty, so today's giveaway. Today's giveaway. What do you think, Alan? Should we give away the whole kit? I don't know. I was thinking the whole kit, but if you think that's too much, what does everybody else think? Should we give away the whole kit? Should we give away a kit? Nobody's saying they want the whole kit. Nobody's saying anything? Nobody no. wants the whole kit? No. Nobody's saying anything? Should we just skip the giveaway? Yeah, I think they just want the cards. Just get, oh, they just want the cards? No give, all right. Yeah. Well, I guess so. Really? Yeah. You just want the cards, no giveaway, no prize? I think they'll shoot you. <laughs> <laughs> I've never seen this thing scream so fast. <laughs> okay, so drum roll, please. We're going to give away the entire kit. The entire kit. I'm even throwing in the falling snow add on die. Wow. Yay! So you're going to get all of the papers. All of the cardstock, one winner, get your comments out there. All the papers, all of the cardstock, Alaskan Adventure stamps, dies, Mountain Height stamp, Mountain Height dies, the Dog House three pack layering stencils, the Dog House border die, and the Falling Snow add on border die and the bag of all the little embellishments so you can do your shakers. And who is it, Alan? Put it up there for me. Yay! Elizabeth, I B L. Yay! <laughs> Yay! You, my darling, won the entire kit and the add-on, all of these goodies. Well, my dear, you know what comes next. Customer service at ldrscreative.com. We need your mailing address, please. I'm sure we already have it, but if you could put it out there just so we make sure and get it right, because I want to make sure and get these to you. <laughs> All right. Yay. Congratulations, Elizabeth. So excited for you. All right, everybody, I think our time is about up. Um, keep in mind, these kits are not gonna last forever. So if you really like the kit, I do suggest you get it. It is a fantastic price on these. The best, the best, uh, the best you're gonna get, I, I think, uh, with everything that's in there. You know, we wanted to make sure we didn't just give you a kit of die cuts and paper and stickers and stuff. This has got stamps and dies and stencils and all kinds of goodies in there for you. So it's gonna last you a long time. 
Um, don't forget, come back here on Thursday because we're going to be on HSN next week. And Thursday is going to be all about the kits that we're going to have on HSN. So we're going to do our little sneak peek there. And uh, we're going to have giveaway and project and all kinds of stuff. So be here Thursday at 7 p.m. I will see you guys. Bye. Thanks so much. I hope you enjoyed the cards and the kit. <laughs>